Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, this is kind of an impromptu stream. I know I haven't really streamed much this week. Um, and I'm still not back to, like, full streaming capacity as of yet. I've still got schoolwork to work on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but I figured we could at least go ahead and uh, stream a little bit. You know, at least let you into what I'm currently doing right now. Uh, this is my way of relaxing whenever I'm not streaming or in between calls at work as I play other video games. Uh, let me go and bring it up on the screen for you guys so that way you can check out what I'm currently doing. Uh, so, uh, as I fix this hot mess over here, <laughs> that is Albion Online. Go ahead and move this around a little bit. I'm not sure why it looks like this. It shouldn't. All right. I'm going to move over there just so that my face isn't quite covering it up. Uh, so anyways, this is Albion Online. Um, just something I kind of do to, to chill. Um, the reason why it looks like this right now is because my, in order for me to be able to play this game on my screen, I have to be able to have this game windowed, uh, instead of being able to run it like full screen, basically. So it kind of makes it, Streamlabs doesn't really quite know how to translate that, I guess you could say. Um, and it doesn't allow me to be very specific whenever I'm resizing the window in Streamlabs. Um, so yeah, so that's why it kind of looks a little funky right now. If I could just make the, the window wider on the, on the stream, like the, the capture basically of the game or the window, then it would look about a lot better, but as soon as I resize the the width, it also resizes the height. Don't ask me why. It, just what it does. Uh, but anyway, so this is what I'm currently doing. Um, this is what I've been doing for the past couple days whenever I need to relax or whatever. Um, so Albion Online is basically an MMORPG, in case you're not familiar with it. Uh, to give you kind of like a, a quick breakdown. Um, it's basically similar to a lot of other MMOs that I've played over the course of my life. Um, you know, as you do something, you learn skills. As you perform those skills, you become better at those skills, etc., etc. Um... So yeah, there's there's a lot of interesting nuances when it comes to this game that I don't really typically see in other MMOs, which kind of drew me to actually try it out, see how I feel about it. Um, so far, I'm enjoying it. It's very chill, or at least I find it to be very chill, uh, because I'm more of like a gatherer type uh, crafter, basically. Um, I love to fight and all that fun stuff, but I'm not really big on like PvP and that type of like competition base. Um, generally when I play a game, I like to relax. If I'm not relaxed while I'm playing a game, then why am I playing it? Um, so I don't really like to compete uh, when it comes to video games, you know, all that much. So basically with this one, what I'm doing is currently I have an island um, and I am currently mining a literal F-ton of rock in order to upgrade that island. Uh, a lot of rock. Um, so just to kind of give you a quick rundown, this is kind of like my layout right here. Unfortunately, I can't move that. It won't let me resize the window. Uh, so it's stuck where it is. Just gonna have to ignore my big old head. 
So currently I have like a spear equipped. I've got, you know, armor, a cape, a torch, which kind of increases like your, uh, something. <laughs> it, it, it does something. I can't remember what it was. It increases like your attack speed. I think it was. Um, I had to think about that one for a second. It increases attack speed. Um, and then, you know, I've got boots. I've got a, a bandana for like a hat or a hood, as it's called. Um, I've got soup, carrot soup, which helps with like health regen. And uh, as you can see here, I'm currently riding an ox. If you can see right down here, I do have a horse currently in my inventory. Uh, that means, yes, I do have a horse. You can switch between mounts. And what's curious about this one is that this game applies concepts from other RPGs that you wouldn't really typically think would be included. So, as some of you, or most of you may not know, I'm a... I played uh, EVE Online for many, many, many years. Um, and then eventually I got away from uh, EVE Online and kind of got sucked back into it by playing EVE Echoes. Um, I made a, I made a, met a great group of friends playing EVE Echoes. Um, and we still play video games where once in a while, you know, we played Eve Echoes together um, pretty much all day, every day for about two years. Um, which was a, a lot of fun. And then we started kind of getting bored. People started finding other things. Um, and so I eventually I got out of it because it was just taking up too much time. And then eventually we got into Diablo. Uh, when Diablo Immortal came out on um, on mobile, I believe it was. And so we started playing that. <laughs> so we got super into that for, I don't know, probably maybe half a year, a few months. Um, and then we started playing... I forgot, there was another MMO, but I forgot what it was called. Uh, so we started playing a different one. We played that for a while. And then um, it was became, basically become the same thing. I was getting way too sucked in. It was taking up way too much of my time. All that fun stuff. Um, so, you know, I walked away from that one. Uh, that one was like very, very like heavily PvP focused. Um, you could grind, like AFK grind basically, uh, which was great, but you could be basically be attacked and then just lose all that time that you were just AFK grinding. So it was tough. And so you had to constantly remain vigilant and all that fun stuff. So, um, so yeah, so like I said, I got away from that. Um, and mostly all I've been doing recently, as you guys know, is I've been streaming video games that I actively play. Um, Call of Duty, um, Madden 23, WWE 2K23, um, Hogwarts Legacy, stuff that I can actively play and designate my time in order to play. Um, and that's been going great. Um, the only problem is that most of those games that I play are not, they're not relaxing to me in a lot of ways. Uh, there's always kind of like a heightened edge to those games where there's competition, adrenaline, uh, risk, all sorts of stuff. This is kind of like my, let's, let's tone it down, let's chill, let's process, let's just, just, you know, I'm just here to chill, have fun, talk, as I mindlessly and numbingly just mind some cool looking rocks that's really all i'm here for um so as i mentioned i, I am currently working on uh, building my island basically um you know this, this game is really difficult when in terms of 
being able to make a profit, especially early in the beginning. Which is difficult for me because I'm not exactly like impatient, but I'm always trying to find ways to, you know, beat the market. You know, what, what's a good way for me to stand out, make a, make a name for myself, you know, get ahead. And um, I tried a couple of things, they didn't turn out so well, uh, which left me with not a whole lot of money, to be honest. So unfortunately, I kind of had to do the uh, frowned upon thing of paying for in-game currency. Um, as you can see here, I currently have 3.2. 42M, which is a million. Um, I did not earn that, by the way. I'm just letting you guys know that right now. I did not earn it. I bought it. <laughs> um, however, it is what it is. Um, I don't, I don't um, think any less of anybody who has paid money for their game. I've paid money for games. Um, I don't try to make it a habit. That's for sure. Uh, this was kind of like an emergency, like, I need to break a piggy bank. <laughs> because I was just so broke. I couldn't even afford... I mean, I could have run some like missions or something. And probably gotten myself back to like a working condition or something, but... Like... I don't mind spending a little bit of money on something I feel that might be worthwhile in the end. So, I figured, alright, well, let's consider it an investment. Uh, the tough thing about mining or, like, gathering and uh, crafting in this game is that it takes a while for it to really kind of kick in. For, for you to, like, really get going on it. Um, that, that's the tough part. That's really, really tough. Um, and then, like, one of the things that I'm trying to do right now, like I said, mentioned earlier, is I'm trying to upgrade my... Um, my island. Which takes a lot of... Uh, which takes a lot of, you know rock essentially a lot more than I was expecting um, so just kind of give you like a brief breakdown um, of my skills it, the skill system here okay the, I'm this is a big gripe for me is the way that the the skills are organized so as we can see here it's called a destiny board okay that destiny board is basically a huge web, which I cannot scroll out. Okay, I am scrolled out. This is as far scrolled out as I can get. Okay, so you have to click and drag around this huge ass wheel in order to find skills that you're looking for. Okay, so like let's say for example, druidic staff combat specialist. Okay. This shows you, over here on the left, it shows you what it is. Okay, and then this line down here, you can see a line as it goes down, you get to the next point. Okay, well that's fighter. Now what it's not showing you are all the like in-between stuff, okay? So, like, for example, this one, okay? I've got that one. That one's already at, like, not, like, max level, but it's at the maxed um, tier, basically, I guess you can call it. Um, so I can increase this level higher, up to, like, a maximum of 100. But once I hit that cap, it's, it's, it's done. There's no more I can put into it. But I went from here, which is Trini Fighter, this middle button to journeyman leather armor fighter and then it branches right here you can see it to leather hood fighter and to leather jacket fighter 
which again web into other things such as Assassin Hood Combat Specialist, Mercenary Hood Combat Specialist, and Mercenary Jacket Combat Specialist. So as you can see here, the learn button is currently grayed out. That means I can't really increase it anymore at this point in time. I can eventually, but not right now. However, this one I can. You'll see there's a vertical line right here. Um, I know you can't see my cursor. I do apologize. Uh, but you'll see a vertical line, and that's basically just telling you, hey, when you when you when you reach that line, you can spend three points and you can learn the rest of the skill. That's basically what it's telling you. Um, however, I don't want to spend those three skill points because, as you can see on my top right, I currently have twelve. So you see where it says that where it has that book with like the plus sign. That's how many points you have to learn stuff. Once you spend those points. You can't upgrade anything else until you earn more points. And it tells you that you get 30 points over a day as a premium uh, account, basically, which is about $15 a month. All right, no big deal. But you only get 30, okay? Now, for comparison, for comparison, go to my hammer skill over here. My hammer skill would take, if I wanted to level it up right now, it would take me 21 skill points. Okay. This is for level four. And there are eight levels. Okay. So you can see it right here. You see that shining hammer right there that my is kind of like moving up and down. Okay. That's my hammer skill. That's how I gather stone, basically. And as I gather more stone, I basically get experience points in this skill line. Okay. Now this skill line, let's move down. It goes to the next one. Expert Quarrier. Okay. That one's going to take 140,000 experience points just to use level 5. Scroll down further. Okay, well, now we're kind of getting into the meat of it. 513,000 experience points, 234 points to learn. That's at 20%. Okay, so once you reach 20% of a skill, you can then spend skill points in order to learn the rest of it. So if I got to 20%, that's how much it's going to cost me right now is 234 points. That's just for level 6. Again, there are two more levels. Okay, let's scroll down some more. Level 7. Okay, you can see right here, level 7. 1 million. Which would cost 351 skill points. And then, of course, the last one, which would be Elder Quarrier. Which would be level 8. Would be 1.116 million. Which is about the same as level 7, surprisingly. Um, and it would cost about 409 skill points. So in order to like truly get through this, that's just for one skill line. If I just simply mined rocks, literally all I did, this is kind of what I'm looking at. Okay. That's a lot. I mean, this is like busy, busy work. So... It's a great way for me to just focus on something or a few things and just be like, okay, well, I'm making progress. Um, of course, you can also do fighting. Obviously, that's always there. Um, I currently do have a fighter build currently equipped, which, yes, I did use skill points in order to get to where I'm at, which means that I had to actually be fighting in order to earn skill points and then use those skill points to level it up. So I'm currently like level four, basically, in fighting. Um, I'm trying to get to level four in gathering. So that way I can be a little bit more rounded. And the reason why is because, like I said, my island, which is supposed to be like a self-sufficient type of island, um, kind of like a home base, a headquarters, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
you know, people will charge outrageous prices for you to like refine your gathering stuff or to craft stuff or whatever. So, oh, this lacquer is finally back. Shut up, Dubers. God, man. You know, I'm pretty sure I can find a better moderator somewhere around here. I'm not sure where, but somewhere. But, um, so I'm trying to work on building my island up so that way I don't have to pay a whole lot for crafting stuff or gathering stuff or refining. Uh, because people charge a lot of money. Like, it's ridiculous. Just to even, like, repair your own gear, it costs a lot. Um, and in some cases, if you're fighting in a very dangerous zone, you can even lose your all your gear. Like, hands down. So if you ain't got nothing to fall back on, you're screwed. You, you got nothing. So that's why I've kind of chosen to go with gathering and crafting first. Is to at least kind of get like a profession going. You know, find a way for me to be able to make some money. Uh, you know, down the line. Right now, initially, it's not really that helpful. I'm, I'm kind of too early in it. I've only been playing this for like off and on for like roughly like three days. You know, I think I played it for like an hour or two, like the first day, uh, maybe like two to three hours the next day, and then like four hours um, off and on today, basically. Um, so I've made quite a bit of progress in a short amount of time without paying for it. Let me just state that. Um, however, some of the stuff I did pay for, so for all day today. Okay, it showed my activity as being on all day, but I was not playing it all day. Let me make that distinction there for you, dupes. Trying to throw me under the freaking bus. Literally, I, it showed that I was playing it all day while I was working. Um, however, I guarantee that I literally got like, um, not like maybe even like a couple hours of actual playtime. So, yeah. So it might have shown that I was playing it all day, but I guarantee you I wasn't. Most of my stuff was being done uh, with work. Work was just absolutely nuts today. That's why I'm, I'm that's why I'm using like a chill day. Um, my brain is just fried from school recently, from work. Today, uh, it's just been nuts. So yeah. Yay. Uh, Battlefield 2482, the last hour of my workday. That's nice, man. It's really hard for me to play those games, like, during work. That, you know, I, I can't pause. Which is one of the main reasons why I don't usually play games during work. Because I don't really play a whole lot of games that I can pause during work. Um, this is kind of one of those games where I can... Basically stand still, do nothing... And not have to worry about dying or something. You know, it's it's pretty chill. At least the initial part of it is. Like I said, I'm still like in the very, very like beginning, beginning of it. So, um, it's, it's it's very easy to progress to a certain level, and then once you get to that certain level, it's like okay, now now you're starting to feel that grind. Right now is at that level where I'm starting to feel that grind. The grind hasn't fully kicked in yet, um, but it's it's. I know it's getting close. Yeah, you definitely need something to pause for what you do. Yeah. Well, when it comes to taking like phone calls and stuff, unfortunately, yeah, I do have to be able to pause at a moment's notice or stop playing. 
and immediately focus on work. Which, you know, kind of, uh, kind of sucks, but, you know, that's why I get paid. Um, yeah, sometimes, like, I'll be, because, like, my work computer is, like, right over here. So what I'll do is, like, if I'm on a call that it's kind of going a little long or, like, we already know what I'm doing, I'll reach over with my left hand and start using the mouse to control this and just go, like, around mining and stuff. I'm just like, oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, uh, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, absolutely. As I'm... Yeah, it's all good, though. It's a fun game, though. Right now, um, one of my friends that I played Eve Echoes with, he had been trying. He also streams, by the way. His name is... Um, name's Rick, but he goes by Mechro Gecko or something. Um... You can find him on my feature channels list or whatever. Um, so he's he's this Twitch streamer. And he's kind of how I got into streaming to begin with. Um, but this is the game that he pretty much always plays. And so I remember watching him one night before I even started streaming. And uh, I was watching him play this. And I was just asking him some questions, you know, as a friend. You know, like, hey, you know, like, you know, how'd you get into this? You know, into streaming, I mean. And, you know, we're just sitting there talking. And uh, he was like, hey, you know, if you decide to start streaming, you know, you should check out this game, which was I'll be on online. And at that time, I was still at the point where I was like trying to debate whether or not I was really going to get into streaming or not. And... Um, and I was like, no, nah, I don't know, you know, I really don't know if it'll be, it'll be like something I'm interested in or how I'm going to, how it's going to go, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, you know, eventually I did get into streaming, obviously, as you know. Um, but I started playing with other games, you know, some of the more popular games like Call of Duty, um, Madden, of course, which are games that I both love. Uh, I don't play them just because they're popular. I play them because I enjoy them. Um, and, you know, and then other games as well. Dead by Daylight, which is another game that I've loved and uh, have played for years. Um, wrestling, of course. I love wrestling. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy, The Sims, blah, blah, blah. So, and those are great games. I love to stream those games and I love to play those games and have fun. But at the same time, I just love to be able to just chill um, while I'm streaming. Because usually I'm just so laser focused on whatever I'm doing that I don't have time to pay attention to my chat. Or to really anything else at that for that matter. So this is a nice game for me to just be able to sit down and just be like, Hey guys, what's up? You know, I'm just chilling, mining some rocks. Uh, but yeah. No, I want that. So obviously if it's glowing green, that means it's better. If it's glowing blue, it's if it's glowing blue, it's obviously better than green, blah blah blah. You kind of understand how quality tiers work. But in order to mine those, I need a better hammer. Which I can't get because I don't have the skill points to level this thing up to level four in order to use that. Because you can see it right down here. I have to level this one up. Once I do, then I can use a level four hammer. Once I get a level four hammer, then I can start getting that rare stuff. I can still mine the level four uh, rock, but I can't mine like the like. They describe it as like 4.1 or 4.2 uh, material, basically. So if it's green, it's like 4.1. Fighting with my family, very good, yeah. Very good movie about Paige and her brother. Uh, very good movie. I love Paige. She's like, mm, like, that's my girl right there. Like, for any, like, young wrestler, especially from that time... Uh, you know, recent in recent times, I mean, um, that you know, she's my girl. 
I loved her like upside down pentagram type uh, outfit that she had. I mean, everything was just like she was, you know, she was her, which was, you know, me. But she was just hotter than me. So <laughs> that's why I'm like, she's my girl. Uh, but she was very genuine, very awesome type of girl. Very, very, a lot of drama. Um, I won't be shy, but I have watched uh, Total Divas. And she used to be on Total Divas. Which is basically a reality show based on the women of wrestling, essentially. Uh, she was on the show, and of course she had a lot of relationship issues. She was young, she was wild, she would get absolutely trashed. Like, literally, like, wasted. And she has a mouth on her, that's for sure. But definitely an awesome girl. I respect her passion for the business, that's for sure. Very passionate. It was very unfortunate when she suffered that neck injury that took her out. Um, that was extremely disappointing. She, uh... She had, she had a lot in front of her. A special tape released? Yes, there was. She wasn't shy about that. Pretty sure I've watched it. But yeah, she was she was never really shy about that kind of th about those kind of things. Uh, obviously, WWE didn't like it. Um, but she really doesn't care, you know. Come here, big rock. I mean, for real, though, you know? I mean, it's the same thing like what, like, you know, China had a special tape, you know? Well, China and Xbox. I mean, it wasn't really, like, really publicly acknowledged a whole lot. Um, although they did make reference to it in a couple TV segments uh, during Raw back in the Attitude Era. Um, yeah. That was an interesting one. Yeah, that was an interesting one. I mean, China, I mean, China the character, not China the woman, okay? China the woman, incredibly smart, awesome, very awesome type of woman. China the character, though, was a badass. Um, she was like a... What would you call her? Um, like a beefcake, you know? That, that's what China was. But, you know, China behind... Not the character, but Joni, uh, which was her name. Um, she was she was very fun. Um, she was just... She just wanted to be one of the guys, basically. But she, she said a lot of, uh, she did some pretty interesting things when she was in wrestling. You know, a couple, couple firsts, I believe, if I remember correctly. I think she was the first woman ever in a men's Royal Rumble. I want to say she was even the first woman to win a men's Royal Rumble. If I'm remembering that correctly. I don't remember everything, but I remember some things. But yeah, she was definitely a pioneer for women in the industry. Come on, I need more rock. I'm only at 20%. Now, obviously, 28% uh, with the type of hauling mount that I have, yeah. Oh, Sable? Mmm. Mmm. I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how much I can say about her while I'm currently streaming right now. Mmm. <laughs> That's all I can say right now, it's just, mmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm reducing syllables right now. Sable was like an inspiration to me, like no joke. Um, 
first time I saw Sable, I was about 14. Which, for any kid who's 14 years old, when they see someone that looks like Sable, yeah. Um, yeah, your eyes just go like this big. Uh, and you start feeling all sorts of strange emotions. Yeah, she was, she's married to Brock Lesnar. I don't know if they're still together or not, uh, to be honest. But yes, at some point in time, I believe they were, she was married to Brock Lesnar. And I think she aged well. I can't remember uh, for sure if she did, but she she always looked really good. That, that's for sure. But she was actually a very inspirational turning point for the progressive women's uh, industry in wrestling. Uh, without her, I really don't think it would have progressed as quickly to the next level as it did. It still took a while to progress to that next level, but she was really one of the one few, one of the few who really made a mark on it and, it, you know, in some ways isn't fully recognized for it, which is kind of sad. Um... You know, everybody knows her as a blonde bombshell, which she was, don't get me wrong. She was a blonde bombshell. She was hot, gorgeous. I mean, just head to toe, just, mm, damn. Uh, she was also a badass, though. She was tough. And she wanted people to know that she was tough. Not just that she was tough, but that women were tough. You know, just because you look hot doesn't mean you're eye candy. You know, you can actually do stuff in the ring, too. And that was her that was her angle was that even though she's like a model she can still kick your ass that that was her that was her gimmick uh as a manner of speaking um so they had like this whole storyline with um marvelous mark moreau um it was you know basically they were together they weren't but they were together as far as the gimmick is concerned um and, you know, they started making, like, this turned it into, like, a domestic abuse type relationship. You know, she was always wearing sunglasses, you know, and had dark circles, like she'd been punched, you know, that kind of, that kind of stuff. You know, this was the Attitude Era, so that, that kind of stuff was normal on TV. Um, so eventually it got to a point to where she started kind of fighting back and even fighting him. Um... Obviously, this leads to her spending more time in the ring, blah, blah, blah. Move forward, she goes up against Luna Vachon, who's a third-generational wrestler. Uh, her family's been in the business for quite a while. Ooh, hidden treasure. Oh, yeah. Um, So she goes up, at the, I think it was a... Man, was it Survivor Series or a WrestleMania? Can't remember for sure. Might even have been a Raw. Uh, but her and Luna Vachon have a evening gown match. Might even have been King of the Ring. Uh, but anyways, they had an evening gown match, which is basically the stipulation is you wear an evening gown to the ring. So it's two women, uh, Luna Vachon and Sable. They're both wearing an evening gown. And the winner... Uh, basically wins the match by ripping the dress from the other person or off of the other person, I should say. So they have to basically take everything off up, you know, down to their underwear, basically. I, I did not miss that match, I guarantee you. I didn't miss a second of that match. It's ingrained in this brain, I guarantee that. If you don't remember this match, I'm not sure if you got blood running through your veins. Anyways... <clears throat> so while the match was labeled to be the super hot type of risky situation where obviously Sable is going to get her dress ripped off or something else might get ripped off. Yes, it had a very sexy angle to it, but it also had a very raw and genuine moment to it. And I'll describe this because I remember this moment very vividly and this is what changed my perception of women at 14 years old absolutely changed my perception so at the end of the match Luna who's 
stronger, manages to rip all the dress off of Sable. Sable starts to cover up. She has lost the match. She's ashamed. Blah, blah, blah. She gets over that real quick because she's pissed. Not fake pissed. Not script pissed. Not TV or show pissed. She's pissed. And she shows this by grabbing, like, just removing her hands, not not covering up. She's screaming. She looks all dead serious. Her cheeks are all flush. She walks over to Luna Vachon, kicks her in the gut, throws a sable bomb on her right in the middle of the ring in her bra and panties. No Fs given. And after she plants her right in the middle, she walks, she struts around that ring. This is who I am. And that was a very, very powerful moment. Not just for um, women in wrestling or period. But, you know, me too, as a guy. I was young, dumb. I thought women were just sex objects. And uh, she really kind of gave me a different perception. And I feel like if she wouldn't have done that, then obviously somebody else would have. But she's the one that did it, for me at least. So, anyways, interesting story about my psyche and my backstory. And how much I remember from that long ago. Noah, what's up, my brother? It's good to see you, brother. Can I say brother again? Can I do it, like, one more time? Hey, brother. Wait, was there still another rock? Yeah, there was. Okay. Oh, but yeah, I can ramble on about wrestling. I, gear, I, I, I think I've probably mentioned this before. I could talk about wrestling all night. Literally. This game is where you shut your mouth and let the, the grown-ups talk. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> I can already see the response that Noah's coming up with right now as he's talking in chat. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. You really went there. Bro, I had to go there at some point in time. You, you had to know that. You know, you had to know I was going to... I was going to play that card at some point. You know that, right? Hey, while we're just sitting here, I'm going to go ahead and hop in my voice chat. Uh, one of my friends recently created my Discord channel for me, or my Discord server. Uh, so if you're down to talk to me live... I will be in the voice channel down below. You got to scroll down in order to see it. But if you want to talk to me on my discord, pop in my chat or request an invite and uh, let's talk. I love texting and all that fun stuff, but uh, I also love to hear people's voices too. No, this doesn't really apply to you. You don't really have to come in. I don't really want to hear your voice, but um, I mean, if you want to, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Noah, you know I love you. See, you know I love you. See, Noah. See? Very clever, huh? Did you like that? Did you like them apples? <laughs> He's asking chat GPT, right? Yeah. How do I respond to Shadow because he stumped me so good? I need a like a really good old a good you know, age joke for old people. <clears throat> That's the problem about telling uh, jokes about old people is that since we're older, we've also whole heard a lot more than you have. So whatever you've had to say about me, I've already heard of probably like 10 times over by now. Your time is ticking. Tell me something I don't know, bro. Man, I feel that. I literally feel that every day of my life. You want to try again? You want another, you don't want another crack at it? 
You, you want to find a way to... Oh, hell no. I'm not going to fight that guy. Dear Lord. Look at this dude. He will. All right. I'm curious. I want to see... I want to see how tough he is. <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> you hit red rank? Nice, bro. Ooh, snap. Okay. Bro, calm down. Whatever it is, she wasn't worth it. Am I even making a dent in this guy? No, not really. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. I got him down to about half. Uh, you're also gold two for killer. Nice, dude. Very sweaty lobbies, yeah. Get out in nine minutes? Bro. I gotta wait nine minutes for this? Oh, please die, dude. Please die. He died. Noise. So evidently one of the other players got a hit on me while I was fighting this guy, so that counted as like PvP. But he also got his ass kicked by this same mob, basically. That's hilarious. It means I don't have to wait 10 minutes in order to get back up and it doesn't really count as PvP. Where you going, bro? Where are you going? Yeah, that's what I thought. Go back to mining rocks now, thank you very much. Oh my god, I need so many rocks. I'm not even close to where I need to be at. Man. Hey, big rock. Come here. Thank you. Yeah, I still need to work on DVD. I'm probably gonna have to buy, like, the rest of the, uh... Call of Duty Pass, Battle Pass, because... I think I'm at, like, 95%. Um, so I'll probably just buy, like, the rest of the 5%, because I don't think I'll be able to play Call of Duty again enough to where I can complete the pass. Oh, I just killed a beaver. <laughs> I'm sorry, beaver. I really wasn't trying to kill you. That was a misclick. Yeah, well, I wasn't really planning like streaming tonight, so I just kind of threw it together. I was like, you know what? I'm already playing Albion to to relax, so I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and stream it. At least do something semi-productive, I guess. Oh, I need more rocks. Thank you. Oh yeah, give me limestone. Hmm, love it. Call of Duty Battle Pass was dookie outside two guns and the swords. Um, I mean, some of the stuff was cool. They had a couple of cool guns in there. Um, some of the uh, character unlocks, or I guess skin unlocks, I don't really remember if they're uh, character unlocks, but uh, some of the skins were okay. The decals, stuff like that. I don't know. It wasn't too bad. But I mean, you can't exactly, you know, give away the farm on a battle pass, though. 
Like, there's only so much you can give away because people are going to complete that battle pass. Man, I want that tree. I want to get down there. Go away. No, give me that tree. Don't you dare touch that tree. Ah, my tree. Nice. Got me a tree, baby. It's a rare pine tree. What we call a 4.2. Oh, uh, so this is how slowly I move without my mammoth. No, no, no graphics, no effects, no nothing. This is how slow I currently move right now because I'm so overburdened. You can see right up there on um, right here where it has my, my character. So it currently shows that I'm 378% overburdened, basically, without my mount right there. So that's how slowly I move while overburdened. Yeah, so if I bring out my mount, when I get off the mount, you'll see this circle around me. So that's the circle of like um, effect basically of my mount. So as long as I remain within that circle, then my um, my weight counts as my mount's weight, not as my personal weight. And this is a uh, ox, which right here, as you can see, can my max load is about uh, one thousand three hundred sixty-two kilograms. Uh, with the ox. Without the ox. Um, I think it would be. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Nope, I don't see it. I think I have to take off the ox in order to do that. Which means I gotta do that. Walk outside the circle so that way he disappears. Uh, let me see here. Where is my. Ah, oh, here it is. Uh, do, 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 do. Max load is 158 kilograms. So that's without a mount, without an ox. Um, ox can carry a lot, a horse can carry some which so I do have like a horse right here which um, doesn't really increase a whole lot it doesn't really increase my um, so if I equip the horse it only increases my so I'll go ahead and bring it out real quick still doesn't do anything all right, now it makes me 236% overweight. 378. So with the ox, however, put the ox back on there, which means I can carry more. So that's why I'm rolling with a with a ox right now instead of like a horse, in case you're wondering. So down here, you can see all the rock that I'm currently mining, uh, which is like tier two tier three, tier four kind of rock. <clears throat> so I need that rock in order to upgrade my island. Uh, it takes some logs, uh, it takes some stone, like some regular stone, but it takes a lot of like stone bricks. And I've got like a lot of buildings to upgrade. So I'm trying to just run around, find as many rocks as I, as I could possibly find. And then basically just kind of refine them into whatever I need. 
and then hopefully finish upgrading my the buildings on my island to at least level four um in order to like at least make them equatable to me like what my character is currently at is level four but it's a grind that's for sure Right now I'm kind of skipping trees, I'm skipping metal, I'm just focusing on rock. Um, I already got a lot of other mats at my home base, so rock is the only thing that I really, really, really need. Oh, dang it, I did not mean to transport to a different map. Uh, what does this map have? I forgot. So up here at the top, right, it tells you what the map has as far as like materials. So it has wood, uh, hide basically, which is like animal skin, and uh, fiber, which is like cotton, flax, um, hemp, you know, that kind of stuff. But it doesn't have rock, so I'm in a map that currently has rock. You gotta carry your dog upstairs? Bro, how old is your dog? Unless you're talking about like your homeboy, you know. You gotta hold on. I gotta carry my homeboy upstairs. You know, my dog. You know, my G. Oh, he's glowy. Try him out. Ow, dude, that hurts. Stop it. Stop hurting me. I got a level four unerring bone archer. There are gauntlets. Okay. Oh, okay, I got level four gauntlets out of it. Quality was that? Good quality. Okay, cool. Uh, I can sell that for a thousand silver. Yay, that's fantastic. <clears throat> My phone buzzing over here. No, I do not know that person. Thank you very much. Oh. Bite you. Killing me, dog. Killing me. Stop it. Bro. Man. That was a tough one. Almost died from that one. He's 10, but he's had surgery on both his back legs. Ouch. the green guys today oh, that's right I'm overburdened so I can't really Move out of the way a whole lot. All right, fix. Not very good for combat if you can't really move or dodge or roll out of the way. Because I weigh so much. 
That's why I try to fight things while I'm like within this circle right here, but sometimes I end up going out of it. I got some points. Nope, stop it. Those are the only points that I got? I think so. Man, come on. I need more stuffs. Oh, that's a big guy. I'm not sure I want that green guy. Noah, where'd you go? Oh, he left? Okay. stuff. Love it. don't need all the sound effects to be when you hear that mooing like 20 million times after getting on or off the horse it's like come on now people streaming tonight. Wow, a year and a half? That's tough. Been there. <clears throat> kind of dog is it?
A whip it. Oh, yeah, that's right. You've told me that before. Whip it. Sounds like a small dog, though, if it's a terrier. Nyx, right? Come on, with those big guns, you should be able to handle that. Medium-ish. Your face is medium-ish. Kidding. Oh, I'm so close to getting to level four on this one. Oh, a little bit more mining, basically, and then I'll hit level four. Then it'll go faster. He's about 50 pounds? Damn, for a terrier mix? Man. That's one solid puppy. I was thinking more like, you know, 15, 20 pounds. Yeah, border collies they can they can go either way, honestly. They can either be, you know, a little bit on the leaner side or a little bit on the you know, fluffy side. Hey, get away. Stop it. Trying to kill me. Come on, give me one. So as you scale up in a uh, skill line, it takes less skill points to bump it up to the next level, basically, so... If I just mine like a little bit more, because I currently have 13 skill points, so I need to get that down to 13, and then I can get it to level 4, basically. She's really lean, her legs are solid. I mean, that's typical for like most dogs. Yeah, like, border collies are like mostly fluff, you know, from all the hair. Uh, as soon as I get that one, I can go into town, get a level four hammer. I keep checking it. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Like, bro, give me that level four hammer. A full bred border collie that's straight fluff, yeah. So they're mostly like, you know, just basically thicker versions of a greyhound, essentially. Really all they are. Come on, me more rocks. Here's some rocks. I think once I get that up to 70 over here on the top right, where it shows my hammer. Shows how far along I am in the skill line, basically. I think once I get that up to 70, it'll only cost me about 13 points, so. Much smarter than a Greyhound. Greyhounds can be smart, but they're just... Crazy dogs. No! Still not there yet. All right, let's go for 71. Just give it to me already. I'm bored. I'm going to need to go down there. Okay. Bro, don't be taking on my rock. Come on now. It's not fair. Oh my goodness, where's all the rock at? Oh, it's down there. Okay.
All right, 13. Then I can spend 13 learning points, basically what they're called. I call them skill points. In order to... So right now it shows that I have 21,000 out of 30,000 skill points. So if I continued doing this without using skill points, I would have to get like another like 9,000 experience points in this skill line in order to level it up without using skill points. But I want to go and use skill points for this one because I use it a lot. So I'm going to go back to town, go dump all this stuff off, probably refine it real quick. Build up a couple more buildings real quick. Um, grab me a level four hammer and some level four uh, quarrying gear, which will help increase the efficiency. And then probably come back to mining. Fun stuff. Now right now I'm kind of using like a fast travel, whatever. Where'd Noah go? Man. <sighs> oh, let me go ahead and repair my gear real quick. 14,000 for what? Yeah, it's not a hundred. That's not a hundred. Okay, so I got two hammers that need to be fixed. Okay. Those don't cost that much. Yeah. That's only about a thousand. So what the hell is costing me so much? Ninety, ninety. 14,000 just for 10%? That's crazy. Anyways, let's go and repair that. Alright, now we're in tip-top shape. And let's go to the island, dump all this stuff off, come back here, buy level 4 stuff. So this is my island. It's a 6 out of 6 island, which means I've upgraded it to level 6, basically. Which takes a lot of silver, which is in game currency. Go ahead and give you a little tour of my island. Still a... I just got it to, like, level 6 today, so... Still very much a work in progress. Uh, show you my house. Not much right now. This is a level 2 house, by the way. Uh, these are all the current mats that I have in my storage, since this is like my headquarters, so I just, I go on gathering runs, I come back here, dump it all off, all that fun stuff. <clears throat> Alright, um, so basically I need to, I need to keep that one. Um, I need my stone stuff. So I'm probably gonna have to refine some of it. Um, I can drop all my metal off. I don't need metal right now. Don't need those logs. Um, let's see here. Be good for now, I think. Now I'm gonna have to go refine it, I think. Um, so these are all the buildings that I've currently have built so far. Um, this is one of the ones that I'm currently working on. So this is a stone mason, which is how I refine the raw stone that I quarry, basically, however you want to call it. Uh, so basically into blocks, essentially. So right now I can this is a novice's stone mason, which is like level two, if you want to call it that. Um, so he can only refine up to level two rock, which sucks. So I need to get him, definitely need to get him to like tier four. 
because uh, otherwise I have to pay like other people to use their refining stations in order to refine all the stone that I have. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade him. Okay, I need raw logs. All right. Let me go grab some raw logs real quick. Yay. Oh, I need to gather these. Bro, seriously? It took me 24 hours to grow six carrots and two carrot seeds? Bro. Fine. You know what? I'll take it. Alright, so now let's plant some more carrots. Okay. Go. Oh man, come on, give me my mount pack. So slow. Water that crop. Water that crop. All right. So yeah, the this crop takes about twenty-two hours. Sorry, twenty-two hours. Still a long time just for six carrots. I mean, come on. But you can see it over here. You can't see it right now, but let me move it over here. So that's what I got from 22 hours is six carrots and two carrot seeds. But at least I'll double my yield uh, on the next harvest. So that's that's nice. Anyways, what do I need? Rough logs? Yeah. Go and put some carrots in here. I don't need them right now. Uh, rough logs. Okay. Back. See, this way I can at least, once I get him to like tier 3, then I can go ahead and refine my stone up to tier 3 for free. Instead of paying others. Uh, yep. Sweet. Alright, so now I can, now that he's level 3... I can also do level 3 sandstone, or level 3 rock, basically. So now I can refine limestone and sandstone. But what I really want to do is I want to get him to level 4. Uh, because in order to get every all of my buildings to level 4, I have to have um, level 4 blocks. Which sucks. So you can't see it over here. Let me move it down for you. So this is the level four rock. Okay, so I need to refine those rocks into bricks, basically. And I can't do that at this station. I have to go to like a station that's level four. So, but I can't upgrade this guy to level four until I get level four blocks. But I at least got him to level three, so that helps. So we can go ahead and craft these, which does, it goes very slowly because I have so many. Sweet. All right, then I'm going to craft these because I need level three bricks and raw level four stone in order to make level four stone bricks. I know. Welcome to my life. All right. <clears throat> so now that gives me um, 114... Level three bricks? Is that right? No, that's not right. Oh, <clears throat> he can't craft anymore because he's hungry. See ya. Like, bro, you whiny. Come on, man. Want some carrots I just pulled out of the garden? Sure, they're good for you. Uh, they're used in a variety of meals. Well, yeah, I know that. So I can craft meals out of those, and also the fish that I currently have. 
Let's go to the cook, which I can't remember where the cook is. I want to say it's down here. Not built yet. Now it's built. Um, can't make any carrot soup yet. I need... What do I need? Oh, I need 16 carrots. Uh, for carrot soup. Okay. But I can make fish, which takes 10. Man. Alright. Let's go feed this guy. We need to finish refining some of these tier 2 bricks. Grab some of this rough stone along the way. Yes, I know you're hungry. All right, drop food here. Can I give him carrots? No. Can I give him fish? No. Can I give him carrot soup? Yes. Which would give him literally nothing. How about this one? <laughs> literally nothing. Okay. Like, bro, I, I just fed you, okay? Building something? All right, so now he's gonna let me craft some more, it looks like. See how much more I can craft. 183. Alright, so that was the rest of what I kind of needed. How am I looking? Alright, so I can make about 353. Which is enough to do about two buildings to tier 4. Not bad? Okay. Alright. Um, there we go. That looks better. Add some of this stuff over here. Don't need the level 2 rock right now. Do. -do, -do. Not good for now. Let's go refine it. That means I have to go back to a city. And I gotta pay somebody else to refine this, because I don't have the necessary building to refine it. Um, so I need a stonemason. It's gonna be this guy right over here, so I need to go straight into the right. Awesome. Grab this rock. the stone mason. All right, so I need, all right, 418, which is not too bad. It only cost me about 2,500 silver, so that's good enough. Or six Trevor team. All 
All right, let's go and craft that real quick. Go back to the island, level up my stone mason. That way I can do this myself and not have to pay for it. This is a adept stone court stone cutter. Um, so as you refine stone, you also get better at that too, which increases your returns and all that fun stuff. So right now I currently here at expert stone cutter. Or at least I will be there. Right now I'm currently leveling up a depth stone cutter. And then I'll get to expert stone cutter eventually. But right now this is giving me it has a hundred levels. Um essentially. Which gives me each level gives me thirty plus thirty bonus to focus, cost efficiency when refining stone. And an additional 250 bonus to focus cost efficiency when you're finding travertine, which is level 4 stone, basically. So, incredibly helpful. That means that the more stone I refine, the better I become at it, which means I use less product, all that fun stuff. Alright. We're going to take this back to our island real quick. Get one or two, or well, definitely two. Actually, maybe even 150, 150, 150. Actually, three. I think I got enough for three now. I can probably get uh, three buildings up to tier three. Or tier four, sorry. All right. Now I gotta figure out which buildings I wanna get to tier four. Um, I know, yeah, that's, it's definitely a grind, that's for sure. So, I definitely want to get this guy to level 4, but I'll come back to him. I'll focus on him next. And then probably the foundry, which is this one, which melts metal. I'll probably get him to tier 4 next. So, I'll work us on, I'll focus on my, like, my, my refining buildings first, before I do other things. Upgrade him. Let's go and begin. I need to go grab my logs. Dang it. But it takes like two kinds of like really, really easy items to get. And then like a third item that's like very grindy to get. So it definitely takes a bit of work. All right, so I need my rough logs over here. Move those over to my inventory. I'll run back over here. Grab that stone again. Yeah, it seems like the smart move to get all my refining things situated because that way I don't have to pay other people to use them. Um, and also friends can come use mine for free, basically, or I can charge them a little bit. Charge them some food or something, I don't know. Alright, let's go and upgrade this one. Again. Oh, man. I only needed basic travertine, not refined travertine. Crap. My head hurts. Mm. Okay. So, what about you? What do you need? Now, see, he needs the bricks. Okay, good. He's level four now. Sweet! So now he can do level four steel. Okay, so not a total loss. Okay. 
My back hurts. I just heard one of the characters in the game just go, My back hurts. That was funny. What about you? Uh, 90, 90, 90, 90. I mean, I could do that, but I'm very limited on Rough Stone, which is this one right here. Surprisingly, even though it's like level one stone, it's incredibly hard to get. Because you get it like, you only find it from like these right here, these really tiny boulders. Um, and you only get two per boulder, or technically three if you have a premium account, because you get plus one. See how I got plus one rough stone from a premium bonus? So that means I have to mine, like, a lot of those rocks in order to get a substantial amount. All right, let's go and get my carpenter up. All right, he needs level three stone, which is good. And then, okay, good. So he also needs a level four bricks, which is what I have. So we're going to upgrade that. Okay. So right now it's telling me I'm short on my rough logs, so I need to go grab some more rough logs, which thankfully my island has plenty of rough logs, so I'm cool on there. I just got to go find some big trees real quick. So these these tr these trees do like respawn over time. Um, what game are you playing? I'm playing Albion Online, Parker. It's a I wouldn't say it's a new game. It's a game that's been out for a while. I've only just recently started playing it. Dubers, you heading out tomorrow? Or are you heading out? Man, such a lightweight. But that's no, all good, brother. Hope you have a Enjoy your evening. Go enjoy your spin class, you wanker. Um, you leave Tuesday. Awesome, dude. Congratulations. Hopefully I'll get to talk to you before you leave. If not, send me pictures of the honeymoon. No, but seriously, pictures. Thank you. No, but anyways, man. Yeah, have a great night. Enjoy your spin class. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. Um, I should actually be like streaming, streaming tomorrow, like something a bit more engaging. I don't know. We'll see. It's been a rough week, so we'll see. Night, brother. All right. How many rough logs? 231. Nice. That was fast. Let's go upgrade my lumber mill. Grade. Nice. Okay. Now, what about level four? Okay, he is at level four. Sweet. Okay. So now the only thing I need to work on again is my stone mason. What about you? Chop fish, raw chicken. I mean, I don't need you exactly but you do help uh so fish i need like a lot of food what all can i plant beans carrots um and get some baby chickens baby goat Uh, wheat. Okay. 
Let's start off with carrots. Um, yeah, I don't need that many, thank you. Um, let me see here. I have, let's just do one full farm plot. So I, that means I need seven more. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and finish filling in this farm plot right over here where I currently have two. Uh, let me see here. Okay. Destiny 2 takes so long to install. <laughs> what are you installing it on? The, the, the PS5 or... I mean, yeah, it's a decent sized game. It's about 80 to 100 gigs, I think it is. Alright, do I want to plant the rest of these fields? It'd be about another 40. Yeah, PS5. Wait, have you played Destiny 2 before? Or even the first Destiny? It's 100 gigs, yeah. It's a beefy one, that's for sure. Very beefy. Yeah, I used to play uh, Destiny and Destiny 2 quite a bit. Um, I think I played Destiny 2, Destiny the original one, a lot more than I played Destiny 2, but I still played uh, quite a bit on Destiny 2. Awesome game, though. The Both the first and the second one, awesome. There's so much to do, though, in that game. So much to do. Oh, it was on PlayStation Plus? Really? One of the monthly games? I mean, technically it's a free game, if I remember correctly. Unless you get, like, the expansions... DLCs, etc., etc. Spin a Rooney. All right, what was I doing? Um, all right, so I know I need some more regular stone. Who else do I need to upgrade while I'm here? Oh, what about my house? What does my house need to upgrade? Ah, perfect. Yeah, level three house. Sweet. Alright, right now I cannot upgrade my house further, so it's sticking at a level 4. But sweet. That's awesome. Okay. Um, How much stone does that leave me? 72? Not a lot. Definitely want to bump up the Hunter's Lodge. Maybe not right now, though. Yeah. Monthly? Yeah, it does have, like, a monthly subscription, I believe it is. Depending on whatever. Level 2 stone? Pretty sure I got some level 2 stone. What the hell is this building down here? Oh, the Weaver? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and bump those up in there. Double-check my level 2 stone. Octopus, beans, and arcane, whatever. Um, 300. Got enough for that one. Ok, 
Okay. They can make grilled fish. Carrot soup types 10. Okay. Wheat soup times 10. Hmm. Health regeneration by 190% for 30 minutes. Okay. Cooldown rate, gotcha. Nutrition. I need something with like high nutrition. No, not you. Alright, 106. Carrot soup is 770, okay. So if I just make a whole lot of carrots. But wheat. Wheat is 2520. Hmm. 2520. Um. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, I need my level 2 stone, I think. Level 2 stone. Before I get too sidetracked. Level 3. Oh, I just ran out. I'll be getting some more stone here soon. Stop it, go away. Yeah, it's a really fun game though, Parker. I, I love that game. Um, I have it installed on my uh, computer, actually. Um, trying to get back into it, but it's... With everything else that I've got going on, I haven't really been able to focus on it a whole lot, so... But it's a really super fun game. I love it. Uh, birch logs, not even. Um, yeah. Okay. We'll upgrade this one. Or not this one yet. Okay, got the regular log done on that one. I think I have enough to upgrade these two. Um, yeah, looks like it. All right, that becomes a journeyman tanner. 50-50, 150. And wasn't the cook this one? All right, so what was this one again? Ah, uh, my weaver. Fifty, fifty, hundred and fifty. Okay. I need some more rook logs. Need my big trees. There we go, that's a nice big tree.
That should be enough logs. Was upgrading. Hello, dear. Rest of you. I'll be here. Then I think the rest of uh, this guy. Okay. I need I need a lot of sandstone block. Uh, Actually, just more stone again in general. What about you? What do you need? On the hunt. Uh, okay. A lot more stone. That's right. I just hit level four for my stone gathering. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the rest of the stuff back in here. Uh, I'll keep the rough stone on me, and I'll keep the traveling block on me. Okay, never mind. We're good for now. Uh, I'll go ahead and put my mining gear in here, and my lumbering gear. Okay. Sounds good. Need a stack of these. All right, let's go buy some stuff and go back to mining some rocks. Who's messaging me? Market. All right, so I need to get all my level four um, hammer stuff. So now I can use a tier four hammer instead of the tier three hammers that I currently have. Uh, let me see here. Who just went live? Uh, GGB. Okay. Cool. All right, buy me a hammer. Sweet. Now I need gathering gear, which just increases my efficiency of gathering stone, which is going to be incredibly helpful right now. All right. Excellent is fairly cheap. Let's go and buy that. I'll leave it on excellent. Stop it. Need a backpack. Right, I'm good with that. Cap. Okay. Not bad. And then finally, some boots. Now that I've got my loadout, 
gonna go enchant that loadout, make it a little bit more, like slightly more beefy. Real quick. Chat that. Alright, got it enchanted. Now we're gonna go ahead and equip it. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and make a new loadout. Um, stoner. Give it a different background. Need to find me a hammer. There's a good hammer. I don't see one. Um, let's just use a pickaxe, I guess. Yep. Alright, now we're ready to go mine some more rock. Hopefully get the rest of my buildings up to tier 4 and then I can pretty much relax for a bit as far as my island.
Um, Parker, if you need help kind of uh, getting the hang of uh, Destiny, just let me know. Like I said, I played it for quite a while, so I know most of the missions, the weapons, all that fun stuff. So if you need help, just let me know. Give me some rocks. There we go. Give me these big old juicy rocks. I love it. And I'm getting plus five right now. Actually, no, not plus five. Plus three? Yeah, plus three from each one. Not bad. I can finally get the glowing rocks too now. Yeah, it's going a little bit faster now. Oh, Noah is live. Let's go mess with Noah real quick. Noah. Yuck, suck. Oh, I definitely need that rough stone. So hard to get that stuff. Oh, nice. It's a nice area. Bro, leave me alone. Bro, stop it. If you can hear my my headphones, um, currently I am watching and listening to one of my friends, Noah, uh, play some Dead by Daylight. He's playing Killer right now. 
Looks like he's playing as Sadako, uh, which is the Onryo uh, from the ring. Uh, so I'm over here just poking fun at him. Uh, if you want to join his channel, just find it in my features channel. And uh, go give him a hard time. He loves it. Up. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Dude, I'm telling you, man, these lobbies are so difficult now that I'm in gold. I'm just surprised they're not all running flashlights. You know you're in trouble when everyone runs a flashlight. Oh yeah, I see a blue travertine. All mine, baby. Perfect. That's what I'd like to see. All right, kiddo. Have a good night. Love you. F slash flashlight, dude. You have no idea what it's like to have a four stack just full of you until end game. Don't get me wrong, I killed all four of them. But they just were relentless. They just wouldn't not stop. Oh, that was a good one. Alright, where'd all the stone go? Oh. There's some stone. Yeah, Let me Taking all my mining. Go away, Raven Crosser. My stone. What's he got? He's got one dead, he's got one on the hook, and he's got two. That are currently trying to get away. <laughs> All right. All right, so now he just killed another one. And now he's got two survivors left, one's down on the ground, and one looks like unharmed. All right. Just gotta make sure she doesn't get hit. Oh, I thought she just got on hook. Let me just move this. Mining stone is going a lot faster now. Oh, no, he's got one person left alive. See if he's able to get her. Yay, daily faction standing. Promoted to recruit, sweet. Faction warfare. And I need to get to this one. It's getting there. Where's this damn thing?
crap. You bastard. Yeah, GG's. That was pretty good. That was, my only, that was only second game of tonight. That was pretty good. Actually. As you can see, though, it takes a lot to get these freaking shards. You basically have to get a like 4K every game. I think if I can get like a oh, full stack up, of each stone, I'll be good. Uh, currently, I am working on getting iridescent rank for killer. Uh, it's going to take me a bit, but... Hey, Shadow, shut up! Shadow's my boy. He likes to just chill like that. Shadow's usually just salty that he's not as good as me. You're groovy? Nice. At least you get aid. <laughs> I'll put you in the old people's home. You're old enough to buy beer. I don't drink. Last time I drank was at a New Year's party, and it just was not worth it, really. Yeah, because you're underage. Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you troll. As long as I can get one shard this game, I am completely fine with losing. As long as we get one shard a game, I am fine. I just gotta make sure they don't... I just gotta hope and pray that they're not a four stack and they're just gonna go for flashlight saves and flashbang saves. Because then that really gets aggravating. Especially if we get RPD, then I'm really gonna lose it. Oh my god, what did I say? What did I tell you? This map is ass, dude. Survivor and for killer. There's a hell of a fight happening up here. This really is a rough map. This sucks. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come here, boy! I 
Yeah. About the quarter of the way to a full stack. Not doing too bad. I was gonna, I was gonna let him get the damn thing. I'm respectful like that. Everything that. Nice, he's already got two injured and one down. They've got no generators repaired yet, so he's doing good. Yeah, I'll take that green metal. Oh yeah, give me that blue one. Very nice. He's dead hearty. Fuck. Excuse his language, he's a friend. Alright, I'm gonna get her here though. I'm just watching the stream. Never mind. All the way curse a lot worse than that, that's for sure. I just try not to do it do it on stream though. Trying to keep this, you know, PG thirteen. Damn dude, she's good. She's just looping me. Dude, fucking hell. We're gonna, we're gonna wiggle out. We're gonna wiggle out. We're gonna wiggle out. We're gonna wiggle out. Fuck, 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 fuck. Thought I had him there. Nah, that was Lori. This right here, I think, is Kate, though. Yeah, I think this is Kate. Possibly. I don't know. I can't see her texting, so I don't know. <laughs> oh.
just gonna get them all injured. Oh, I'm getting lucky with these. Uh, uncommon and rares so far. That's nice. They're picking on my rock. Damn, Raven Crosser. Come on. Trying to stay ahead of this dude over here because he's taking all my rock. No, that lag. Where'd you go, Raven? She didn't hold it long enough. See, I learned. I learned. She's got dead hard. I'll take this rock, I guess. Alright, he's not doing too bad. He's got one dead. What? Two hurt and one not injured. about a third of the way towards a full stack. Almost there. Dang it. What? How the hell? They're just glitching around everywhere. I know he's got two dead, one hurt.
Oh. So we killed three. Oh, but he escaped through All the right. door. Three out of four, not bad. RPG sucks. GG's. That was pretty good. Pretty damn good. We're about halfway on uh, tier two and tier three okay, rock. We, we from that. We only Definitely need some more tier five though. I mean tier four, not tier five. Yeah, busy tonight. Everybody's streaming right now. Hammer doing about forty percent. I had never even heard of the three uh, Mori. It's gotta be good. I'll just keep going until my hammer breaks, really. Then I'll go refine everything. I want my perks. Level up some more of my buildings and then Obviously, repair my hammer, and we'll then we'll kind of evaluate where. Let me know if my mic audio is good. Let me know if you can hear me well. Unfortunately, yes, we can hear you. Shut up. Teeth, I did it. Dagger. Survivor starts to come. Teeth, I did it. Dagger. Uh, that's what I need to do. Man, it's going a lot faster now that I hit tier, tier four. A lot faster, which is nice. Definitely need that, especially when it comes to like tier four rocks and stuff, or tier four materials in general. They usually take longer to. Oh, here we go. Nice little spot right over here. Need us some tier four rock. I don't really need a whole lot of metal right now, so that's why I'm skipping all the trees and the metal. Unless it's glowing. I just kind of put on random add-ons. If it's glowing, I'm really definitely going to grab that. Uh, Shadow, are you in Discord? By the way, yours and mine are who's ever. All right. What's up, Shadow? What do you want? Oh, it's you too. <laughs> 
Hey, you're the one that like left my chat earlier. What do you wait? What? What do you mean? You left my stream earlier. I had to take a shower. I just got home from work. Whatever. Dude, I smelled like um, steak blood. I just got home from work. Is that your stream and or my stream? Like, uh, oh. I didn't really want to be marinating in that. Oh, why not? Uh, one, I have a big dog that, uh, you know, really likes, uh, steak. I didn't want to lose it all. <laughs> oh, so I do funny. have a big dog. He's a thick-ass boy. It's a little shit. Sticking with the honor, you huh? Um, yeah, I want to prestige her. To get her one, um, her one perk and put it on my ghost face build or something like that. And she's pretty good, actually. She is really good. And her perks are great, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, what the fuck? Hello? Oh, she must have had, like, sprint bursts or something. She was running out like mock Jesus. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, I know mine has been laggy, but has your Dead by Daily been laggy recently? I don't know. I mean, I haven't played in like four days, I think. Oh, okay. I've been so busy with schoolwork very... and stuff. Oh. Yeah, my games are very laggy. Oh, hello. <clears throat> Oh, and the Unreal's ability is great, too, to just be able to teleport unless they steal one of your tapes, one of your sex tapes. Oh, yeah. Well, I think you can still teleport even if they steal the tape, though, right? Uh, you can still teleport, but you just can't teleport to that TV because it'll be turned off. Right, um, yeah, it'll turn off the TV when they do that. Yeah, it'll... I believe it turns back on, though. You just... Just not right away. Yeah, I don't think it turns it off permanently, which is nice. Yeah. Not so nice for the survivors, what, but... Yeah, I know Freddy has the same ability, but instead of Jennies, or instead of TVs, he can uh, teleport through the Jennies. That's why when you face some blood will start coming out of the... Uh... Yeah, I remember that one when, when we had that one match. One of the very few matches we've had with Freddy. That was a fun one. Oh, no. Okay, so yellow TVs are powered off TV. Sorry, I got that. Oh, did you get that? Yep. Figure that out. Smart ass. <laughs> so proud of you. Hey Leon. What you doing? You dang one from JLA's. You better fucking run. Yeah. Better run. What's up, girl? Oh, fuck, where'd she go? I don't know. I'm gonna fuck Leon. <clears throat> How the hell did you get so far? I don't know. Maybe they're just good. Sorry. Everybody's moving that mock Jesus and it's aggravating. <laughs> <laughs> They are. Well, they probably all have that sprint burst or whatever, like when you vault or something, or... He was crawling, though. No. Uh -huh. Wait, she was crawling? Oh, I got an achievement. God, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, 
Oh, I got you now. Uh huh. I knew it. Fuck, I just saw her now. Crap balls, get your crap balls. Wow, no deaths yet? I'm I'm surprised. What'd you say? No deaths yet? I'm surprised. Nah, I found out that it takes a minute. You usually don't start getting deaths until all the pallets are usually dropped. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, gold lobbies are way harder than silver. It was like a big step. Because now there's always the chance of a four stack and... 8 million flashlight saves <laughs> and missing brain cells all the loopers oh dude it's like I don't even waste my time looping someone if they're at killer shack that just makes me infuriated oh my goodness yes it's just infinite especially if you come across like really good loopers makes you just want to hang yourself yep just stand there and live with your thumb up your butt. Yeah, like, okay. It's like, all right, you got me. I'm just going to stand here. You just do whatever you want. Yeah. I like to be wined and dined before I'm fucked. Right, pretty much. Oh, shit. He still has that tape in his hand. Give me my sex tape, bitch. It's mine. Nobody can have it. I know there was a hook over there, but I want to put him on as many scourge hooks as I can. Yeah. Pacino Pepperino. Crap. And they got that. All right, uh... Oh, hello, Leon. What are you doing? <laughs> I love how he just what? like stood there <laughs> right behind a corner yeah. like, oh, he's he never like, going to find oh. me. Bad things are about to happen <laughs> to me. Oh, that was funny. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. She lagged. You just giving up? All right, thanks. You're just giving me my free shards. 
Aw, she's being nice. Shit, I'm not. <laughs> like Shit. You? I need I need those damn shards. You still got like what seven days? Six? Wait, really? That short of time already? Yeah, no dude. way. It resets on the thirteenth of every month. Oh fuck! I was I was checking the date. <laughs> What day did you think it was? I I didn't know. <laughs> I, thought they only, I thought they only reset like every season. Oh, hell no, dude. Seasons are like two months. Okay, that allows us to get higher ranks. I mean... I'm going to have to grind all of this rank again, bruh. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, it's okay. I'm already at 800,000 blood points because of my... Uh, eerie rank for survivor. But I just saw that girl. Where in tarnation did she go? Hello. Really? I can't squeeze my 13 year old bodies through here? That's stupid. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> yeah. I'm bloodless like an animal. Well, what? Invader Dag, is that your brother? Yep. Yo, what's up, Anton? How you doing? Uh, Invader, I just want to apologize on behalf of everybody that is associated with Noah that you're his brother. We we feel your pain. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, shit. Or maybe I'll just kill you. Fair trade, huh? I kill you, you don't get hatched. That sounds pretty fair, right? <laughs> totally, totally fair. Seems legit. Scammer gets scammed. Scammer gets scammed. Nice, last hook, man. You can get to it. It's gonna be close. Hey, Where's that hatch? Nice. Hatch, what do you need the hatch for? She's dead. I still want to close it. You still get points for closing it. Oh, well, yeah, but still. Hey, man. I need those points. Alright, whatever. I can't find that shit. We are one follower away from 140. Oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah, people hey, follow him fuck. because he can count. Yay. And we are <laughs> one shard away. Oh, we had a fucking perfect match. Damn. It's not a perfect match. It's a good match, not a perfect match. Yes. Well, look at all those red badges. That means it was a perfect match. It means it was a pretty good match that that bar is not completely full if you if you're looking at it you'll see there's like a little bit of space over there on the far right 
<laughs> no, that was a pretty good match, though. Pretty good match. Probably the only excellent match I'll have, but you know. <laughs> Play 12 dropped pallets. What's this? Okay. Oh, that one would take two. I'd have to play Ghostface for this one, I think. Let's do uh, destroy 12 drop pallets, because, you know, everybody likes the pallet stun me for some reason. I don't know what it is. All right, yeah. All right. Give me some tier three parts. <sighs> Building something? Um, You're a bamboo. I think Prestige and the Clown is one of the best things I did because some of his perks are pretty good. Yeah, some of his perks are good. Uh, I regret prestiging uh, the Skull Merchant because her perks are absolute <laughs> dog shit. <laughs> I yeah. just absolutely regret it. Yeah, you they're, they're not that great. Cool. So I believed you. She's cool because but, she's hot. Only, only. I never said her uh, perks were cool. Only the Bible skin is hot. Yeah, that's true. The rest of them are okay. Um, I got Wesker too, Mister Whiskers. Oh yeah. I prestiged, him, I prestiged him this morning, and I regret doing that as well because his perks suck donkey dick as well. Oh really? Oh, they're terrible. Hmm. One makes you vault faster. One makes it so when you pick somebody up, you can see everybody. And then the other is... Uh, you could... I think you can see them when exit is open. I, I don't know. It's not great. Huh. Ugh. What's the... Okay, Merciless Storm. At least I have that. Tier three. That one's a good one. I don't even know what this is. Oh yeah, I like that one too. Uh I never run the prevent chest from spawning because that's so stupid. Crap. Crap balls. Get your crap balls. Crapples. Mmm. I love crapples. Crap balls. You ever get crap on your balls? Sometimes. Condemn survivors. No. That's dumb. What is this? <laughs> Dude, fucking VCR. All TVs play the projection effects when the audio. Wait, I don't, I don't understand what that does. Uh, hindered? What's the hindered effect? What does that mean? I don't know. Read it. It doesn't tell me. It says reduces oh, yeah. movement speed. It says it right there. I got yeah, two of them. If you actually go back to it, it explains it at the bottom of it. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ugh. Oh, what a ding dong. I gotta set up my blurb. Your blurb. Yeah, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't know about you, but I could low-key care less about this map as a survivor. Because this is a map that I'm always tunneled on. Oh, this map? Yeah. Uh, 
Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Well, that was fast. That's what she said. It's over already? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, famous last words for any man. No, or uh is that it? <laughs> no, no, is that all of it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I didn't even feel it. <laughs> it's just a little prick. <laughs> uh, fun stuff. Is it in yet? I thought we already did that one. No, you didn't. Here we did. Whoa, I didn't grab her. That's stupid. Oh, here's a hook with your name on it. Hmm. I feel like getting unhooked just hurts way more than being actually hooked. Oh, yeah. Did Maybe. I not teleport? Maybe. Oh, I'm sure that's tough. No, it definitely hurts more getting unhooked. How do you know? Well, because just think about it. So, okay. oh, damn. So... You get unhooked, so you're getting the whole thing just ripped out of you, tearing away even more muscle, not even mentioning the fact of how much blood you're going to lose in that, you know, moment. I don't know. Welcome to Factor Cap, where we t test trends to see if they're real or fake. Yeah, I don't know. I just heard somebody. I just heard him again. Oh, there you are. Crap. Move. Damn cactus. <laughs> cactus. Fucker. <laughs> I don't know. They're they're a little bit tricky. It's funny. Damn. Okay. Oh, you so missed them? Like a... Missed them twice. Whoa. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, are you sure you're like Supposed to be like iridescent tear or something? I'm not iridescent tear, I'm gold. Oh, that explains it. I hate you. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. You know I'm awesome. Bitch, don't you fuck. Don't you fucking go to that goddamn shack. Okay, thank you. That was easy. Put that damn totem up again. Where the hood at? Where the hood at? Yeah.
Hello. Mr. Billiam. It's like faking himself out at this point. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck he was doing. I don't even know where he is. Oh, there you are. The damn unhook. That's fast. Later, then. Right, I won't be a tunneler. I won't go for that claw that until I get somebody else. Come here. Give me that booty. Wow, dead hard. Making me hard. Gotcha. That's gross. <laughs> this chick's in the Resident Evil 4. I don't know her name, though. Ada Wong. That's her name? Yes, that's her name. Ada Wong. Oh, well, fucking pardon me. You're pardoned. I hate you. <laughs> so salty. Damn. Fuck out of my way. Come here, boy! Booga, booga, booga! There is no feed in Albion. Oh, shit. He's first one down. Hello? Oh, what? Look at you. How lame. Oh shit, I guess right. Wow, did you guess right? That's awesome. Getting. that coming another 4k well i don't know do you count a dc or as 4k uh it depends on like where they disconnected at they didn't get a single jenny well, i mean were they like did they dc on the hook or they disconnected when i hit them mm. Yeah, that's kind of tough. Oh, gold one. Another gold.
That's crazy. No, well, they were running pretty light. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't really packing any heat. That's unusual. Right? No, no. Cause watch. I'm gonna load up into this game, and it's just gonna be chaotic. It's just going to be me banging my head against the fucking controller. Mm -hmm. <sighs> GG's though. All have flat. Okay, that girl's got a flashlight. I only one of them's got a flashlight. Only got to worry about one of them. Works are giving me suck. Ready for the wild. Flashlight, my kit, my kit, nothing. <laughs> Alright, let's dance with the devil, why not? By the pale moon's light. Almost midnight. It's only nine o'clock my time. Really? Yeah. It's eleven oh eight. For me. See ya. I gotta drive one of my brothers to the airport tomorrow. Oh. It's one be of like your brothers? Brother. Yeah, one of my brothers. How many do you have? It's gonna be are we like counting step siblings too? Yeah, that counts. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I guess that counts. Wait, stop. I got six brothers and one stepsister, and I'm the youngest out of everybody. Oh, so that means your stepsister is legal? Gotta <laughs> kill you, you know? Uh, That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Not as fucked up, because I knew you were going there. <laughs> I, I, I just knew it. Spring purse you just used? Oh no. What? How the fuck? That was late. How do I get up here? Okay, I don't like this version of the map. I like the other version better. What?
mad. We can make it, we can make it, we can make it. Yeah, we'll make it. Lies. Shut up. Get away, get away, run. Ooh, perfect teleport. Uh, whose side are you on? <laughs> Theirs, of course. Wow, you ain't a G. Well, at least these people can get uh, Jenny's done. Yeah. I'll let her go. Oh, cause I'm stopping the gen. Thing I just don't see you. <laughs> well, go ahead, stun me. Meg doesn't even know what to do. <laughs> Got treasure. Get Meg. Get Meg. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I hate Meg so. Oh, who doesn't? They're so fucking annoying. They're the first ones I want to hook. Get the way. Where is she? Asian, but does he give it to me? And you're gonna give it to me. I think this is our second hook, right? Yeah. Oh crap. I have to teleport to the other one. Oh crap, I didn't mean to tunnel her. Oh 
tunnel sure. Meg. <laughs> I'll tunnel Meg though. I don't think we all. I don't think anyone's got a problem with me tunneling this Meg, right? Me. Do I give? Do I get full permission to kill a Meg? Shut up, Meg. Tunnel her. The weak must fear the strong. Yes, I agree. Oh, that's funny. That scared the shit out of me. Oh. That was a good pallet drop, though. That was. Was that Nancy? No. There's no Nancy. Mm. Oh, dude, if there was Nancy, I'd go for her before Meg. <laughs> Any Stranger Things character, I despise. Any Leon, I despise. Because Leons are just so good. Yeah. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. She's mine. All right, now give me that Asian Badussy. Yeah, Steve's are usually bros, that's for sure. Oh, where did I knock Meg? Where did I knock her? I don't know. Wherever you dropped her at. Oh, she's up. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it, Meg. Where's that Lori stroke? Yeah, get out of here. All right, Meg's dead. Good. Dip, dip, bippity, pop. Where the hell, boy? Nancy's can go to hell, yeah. I agree. Fuck Nancy's. Fuck Meg's. Give me that Asian pussy. Come here. Give it to me! the hell you're doing some parkour shit mm -hmm. i also have grown to hate cheryl's oh uh, cheryl, cheryl mason which one's she i don't remember oh silent hill girl oh yeah i know oh I yeah know that he's that. i keep confusing her with like laurie strode or something Bring me the hatch at once. Right here. Damn. Come on. Don't find it. 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 Please don't find it. I'm going to be so upset. That'd be funny, though. Nice pallet drops, man. Where is it? Oh, oh! Fuck you, bitch! Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah! Yeah! Eat shit, bitch. Is that pallet she threw? Oh, no. I need to break it though. But, like, where is it? Is that damn pallet? I don't remember. We got the 4K. Sweet succulent hatch value. Oh, I feel so good. <laughs> How many tries did I get? Two? Nice. 
Nice. Nice. Good. Good one, eh? I think Henry owns my character, honestly. I mean, she's pretty good. Once you get the hang of her, I mean, she's pretty efficient. Just start leveling her up. Uh, how long is the stream been going? An hour and 19 minutes ago. <laughs> GG's, though. Yeah, it's pretty That's good. Pretty good. We just need two more shards. I need to practice her more, but I enjoy Dredge way more. I don't know how to use Dredge. I know he has the blackout and the locker stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Those are his... I know I hate facing Dredge. Yeah, I do hate facing Dredge. That's why I always try and play and level up uh, the characters that I hate playing against the most, because I know other people hate them. Oh, for he sure. Has mass he has massive anti-loop. Oh shit, I might have to invest once I hit 9,000 iridescent shards. Uh, tier 3 barbecue and chili. That's pretty good. You're at 7 out of 12 pallets, okay. More than halfway. There we go, what is this called, Brian? Uh, bird gun, never. Okay, that's pretty good. I want to level up, uh, it would probably take me a whole prestige, but I want to level up Michael so I can run a tombstone Michael for a stream. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. I mean, I did once, but I didn't do the other iridescent add-on, which kind of made me upset. Mm. I didn't know about it. So, so when I was complaining of why I didn't have tier three unlimited, it was because I didn't have the strand of hair. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I did not know that. Nobody informed me. You activate his ability at a pallet or window, and if you are good at reads, you can teleport back to where you first activated the ability to get a free hit. I probably have to watch a YouTube video on it, not gonna lie. Alright, let's see here. I gotta sit up and, like, put my face on the TV. Someone's got a key, another key, toolbox, and my... Why are they running keys? Fucking weirdos. Probably for, uh, a challenge or something. It's the only time I run a key. It sounds way more complicated than it actually is, but he's pretty fun. Green key aura reading, maybe. Oh, yeah. Shadow, you're gonna be my comment reader while I'm in the game. Okay. So far, it's just a lot of you suck, you suck. I do get, it. I do get it. good. I was just about to say, Shadow's gonna be like, oh, you fucking suck. <laughs> so, so on and so on. All your chat's saying they're gonna unfollow you now. Oh, yeah, yeah, they just said they're gonna unfollow. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Noah, looks like you lost a hundred followers. Damn it, Shadow! <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. GP hashtag triggered. Alright, as long as we stay off of RPD. Well, stay calm. <clears throat> For now.
It's white. Yeah, I can tell by the way he's running. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, this Dwight's stupid. I'm gonna fake him out with the pallet. Yeah. What? That didn't hit him? Hello? Alright. That makes up. Shadow. What? <laughs> Look at my shadow on the ground. Oh, I just heard my <laughs> name. I'm like, what? No, 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 no. Okay, I know she was just on the damn thing. You're a boon. I do. Come here, come here. Dead hard. Dead hard. I know you have it. I guess you don't. What are they doing? Oh, it's because my one perk fucked them all up. Hey, do I? Remember me? Of course nope. you do. Says you suck. Of course I don't remember you. Well, I remember him. Where am I right now? Hello, girl. Alright, let's take a chance with the devil. Okay. I thought she would have closed it. The draft that I meant. Hey, David. Get got. I'm gonna start calling scourge hooks scrotum hooks. Alright, we put them on a scrotum hook.
Oh, baby girl. Yes. Oh, and there's a scrotum hook. Just yes, for you. What's your name on it? Yeah, baby. Yeah, buddy. Oh shit, there's two Claudettes. I didn't even know. Damn hey, it, Claudette. I don't want to have to fucking. Oh, there's got to be a David around. Yeah, see, I know it. Oh, that's Dwight. Dwight! My good pal. I'm fucked up, Dwight. Yeah, that's good. All right, time to go on the scrotum hook. Dead. Where the hell? Where are these cucks? They're repping gens. That's what they're doing. How many the jennies are being worked on? What is going on here? Hey, Claudette. Hey, honey, I'm gonna have to kill you now. Oh, yeah, did it. Please be dead. Please be dead. Fuck. Whoa, that was fucking fast. David. Hey, here's your problem. Hey, here's your problem, baby. You're going on a scrotum hook. I'm sick of your ass. You're dead. Get got. I know for a fact she's dead on hook. <sighs> Babe, 
bitch don't learn her license. Alright, let's find Hatch. Well, these exit gates are far, she might escape actually. You can do it, Claudette. We believe in you. Probably went to the other one. You can find it. Oh, okay, I like Oh, no. I would have killed her. I would have gotten it. Well, GG. Yep, GG. That was pretty good. We're all running bond. That's they must weird. Been, they must have been a four stack or something. But why all of them, though? I don't know. I didn't ask them. Oh, one of them sent me a message. GG. GG. I'm going to promote my stream to them. <laughs> Hey, we just streamed you on my stream. Come check me out. Streaming I... live executions. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good seller right there. <laughs> you were just featured on my I just kicked your ass stream. Would you like to join? Shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Bitch did a oh, whole ass face zoom. Yeah, the jump scare. You see that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fucker. If that's part that's of her so thing. <laughs> oh, I was I was not ready for that. <laughs> that's scary. Oh hell no. That's funny. That's fucked dude. Iron grasp or no red? Fresh one is both red. Fuck, can't even get it. Alright, two more pallets. We can definitely get that. Alright, now what is this? Video two. Uh, hitting a survivor within eight seconds after manifesting turns on the last four TVs turned off by projection. Uh, after using projection that works with survivors carrying a tape and sucking the other of any TV. And I mean, it's all right. That's stupid. Okay, I like that one though. That one's good. And
All right, man. I'm heading off. All right. See ya. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, sure, for sure, brother. I'll catch you later. Yep. Have a good one. You too. Later. Peace. All right, everybody. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and end it for tonight. Um, glad I got a nice chill stream in with you guys. Um, we got quite a few things accomplished today, which I'm proud of. So <laughs> um, it was pretty chill. Tomorrow I'm probably going to be working on uh, some schoolwork. So. I may not be around tomorrow. I'm going to try to get it done like during work or something, but I don't know. I got to write like two more pages on a project paper. Um, and that's pretty much about it. I've got my other project done. I've got all of my other school work for the week done for both classes. So literally it's just, I have to write two more pages and then like proofread and submit it. So, uh, but yeah, so, um, like I said, may not be able to stream tomorrow, but should be able to do Saturday. Uh, Sunday, I'll be busy. Uh, I'll be working during the day and then uh, going over to my family's house, uh, my parents for um, Easter and um, also for my sister-in-law's birthday. Um, so, yeah, um, I'll be busy Sunday, but I think next week, I think I'm actually off school for the week. Um, I don't think my next class starts until, I believe, the 17th. So not this Monday, but next Monday. So I should have an entire week off of school, which gives me plenty of time to stream, which would be super nice. Um, and then, yeah, I'll be back to doing two more classes for the next two months, et cetera, et cetera. So in about eight weeks, eight and nine weeks, I'll probably be stressed again. And not streaming as much. But for the next seven to eight weeks, I should be pretty much available. Anyway, so you guys have a great night. Appreciate you guys stopping by. If you stop by, saying hi. Uh, we'll be back to doing some more other.